Hello photographers, today I want to show you how to edit RAW files on iPad Pro using Apple's Photos dot app. That's right, we're talking about the stock camera roll application and you can edit raw files with it. Did you realize that? Did you realize you can even edit photos with it? It's actually pretty amazing. So the first thing you need in order to do this is to actually have your photos saved to the camera roll on your iPad. And you can do that using some sort of a card reader adapter and importing them directly to the iPad or you can save them to the camera roll from files, from Dropbox, from Lightroom, whatever. Once you have them in the camera roll, you've got to actually edit them. So this image here is a raw file and you have this edit option up here in the upper right hand corner. And you have this set of tools down here and you may or may not have ever played with these. The one you want in order to edit this as a raw file using tools like you'd have in Lightroom, exposure sliders, highlight recovery, saturation, things like that, is this little dial right here. When you tap that dial, you get light, color, and black and white. Now I'm going to tell you right now that these tools are not nearly as extensive and robust as say Lightroom or Pixelmator Photo or Darkroom or something like that, but they're still very good. So we're going to start with light. And when you tap that light icon, it shows you just the image in general with kind of a slider and you can slide that back and forth, but that's not really super helpful. What we actually want to do is get into the real editing tools and you can access those tools one of two ways. You can tap this hamburger menu over here and you can see the entire list of tools available. We have a brilliance tool, exposure, highlights, shadows, brightness, contrast, and black points. Or if you don't want to use that menu, you can actually swipe through them just taking your finger on the slider and moving it up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and just edit this. I'm going to make an exposure adjustment and I'm actually going to take the exposure and I'm going to tweak it up just a little bit. We're going to go this direction. I just want to brighten it up a little bit, not a ton. And then from exposure, we're going to go to highlights and I want to do a ton of highlight recovery because I want to show you how well this actually does. So we're just going to drag that all the way over. And look at how well it actually does with the highlight recovery. It does a very nice job. Now we'll move on to shadows and I'm going to do a little bit of shadow recovery as well. I'm going to open up those shadows a little bit and brighten them up some. So we're going to pull that up like so. That looks pretty good there. And swipe up again. Not going to mess with the brightness. I'm going to mess with the contrast though. So let's add some contrast to this. And again, I'm just using my finger and I'm just sliding along on here. Really nice and easy. And black point, going to leave alone. And that's all my tools there. Now, I want to adjust the color. So these are all done. I'm going to tap this color icon over here and I have a new set of tools under a new hamburger menu. Saturation, contrast, and cast. And as I mentioned, clearly not as extensive and robust as a tool like Lightroom, but it's actually still really good. So let's start with saturation and I want to increase the saturation here. So I'm going to be looking at my colors here because I don't want this to go too far. I think that looks pretty darn good right about there. And let's see what the contrast does under colors. Interesting. I think I'm going to increase that a little bit. And let's also see what this cast does because I've never used this cast tool. Ah, so the cast is quite literally like a white balance. So I'm going to leave it neutral because that's where I want it. Eh, maybe actually we'll go right there. Boom, just like that. I just edited my raw file using the Photos app. No fancy tools, no Lightroom, no nothing else. And it did a really nice job. When you're done, you hit done and boom, your changes are saved to the image. This is what the image looked like before I started and this is what it looked like after I made my edits. Now, I want to show you real quick the difference between using these tools on a RAW file and a JPEG just to make sure that you understand that that was really and truly editing the RAW file. If I swipe over here to this JPEG and I go under edit, you'll notice it doesn't tell me it's RAW up here like it did tell me it was RAW on the previous image. And I'm just going to real quick go to the highlight recovery so you can see how different the highlight recovery is here on this JPEG. It does not do nearly as good of a job of highlight recovery here compared to what it did with the RAW. So I wanted to show you guys this because this is something I think people never think of doing. You can edit your RAW files using the Photos app. So it's actually possible to have a full editing workflow just using the iPad and the Photos app and then maybe sending those photos over to Affinity Photo when you're done if you want to do some more retouching or something. But either way, 
This is a really powerful tool built right in, no extra apps necessary. Now, since we're talking about editing photos, I have a question for you, and that is, what's your favorite set of headphones? I love my AirPods. They're absolutely amazing. They're probably my favorite headphones that I've ever, ever used because they're always on me, and I can just pop them in and listen to a podcast or an audiobook while I'm editing photos on my iPad, wherever I happen to be. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite pair of headphones. And then do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Maybe hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. But the most important thing you should be doing is get out there and take some damn photos.